to the second presentation, and I'm afraid I will do it. Okay, thank you. So, um, again, I'm sorry that Nolwenn couldn't make it today, uh, but obviously uh, the uh, weather forecast was uh, too difficult for her. Um, so basically what I want to, pr to, to present for her on her behalf is uh, uh, an emerging uh, project uh, from uh, a new concept uh, based on very small uh, grids called nanogrids. This is currently developed in uh, Madagascar, which is a big island uh, southeast of Africa. And um, it's, it starts from, a, um, from the, uh, the fact that th there are two, t two challenges which sometimes oppose themselves. First, a short-term challenge, which, which is to bring access, uh, energy access uh, to uh, the population, a large amount of population, uh, in Africa, uh, by 2030, more than 500 people won't have electricity uh, as it, if we don't change this at, uh, at, at the African level. Uh, so there is a focus today on individual solutions, just like uh, solar kits and uh, solar home systems. Um, and uh, the... the the, um, the issue which is raised by the large diffusion of these uh, uh, solar kits is that it is not adapted for uh, the, the growing of the demand. It's okay for a, a little uh, power usage, but uh, it doesn't bring a development solution for broader usage. And then the long-term challenge is to bring sustainable development and to build a modern and sustainable power infrastructure to uh, answer the, the new energy needs for uh, SMEs, for example. And then there is a focus on collective electrification solutions like microgrids or mini-grids. Um, and these, uh, this concept of mini-grids uh, uh, raises the question of uh, the, uh, the capability uh, to uh, bring uh, a progressive uh, solution to a large amount of customer uh, and uh, the cost of these microgrids are often too high. So the lateral elef electrification model uh, aims to answer both of these challenges. Um, here is the scheme. So uh, with nanogrids, uh, you can start with four to six houses. Uh, and people would pay with mobile as uh, with will with mobile on a pay as you go um, uh, payments by by phone, um, and uh, the 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 interest is that uh, it's it can be built within a day. Uh, the the Nanoe, the small company, would uh, uh, request a pay an initial payment for uh, the. Uh, the installation within the house uh, and as soon as four people have gathered and paid their, uh, their, uh, their, uh, their bills, then uh, it's possible to install the uh, nano grid. Then it moves to a micro grid uh, when the demand grows and there is an interest to uh, increase uh, the capability of each microgrid. And it's possible to connect then uh, either a wind farm or um, a solar farm and then to uh, replace each nanogrid by s some grid more structured. So at first, in nanogrid, you can have a light. Uh, the customer will, uh, can access uh, uh, two bulbs and uh, maybe a charging uh, uh, plug for a phone, the radio or the TV, even the TV. And then it can move uh, to a fan and then to uh, progressively uh, to a, ref a refrigerator. This is in 12 volts, by the way. And then when it's, it's, uh, the next step is to move to mini grids. And it's interesting because then you can increase a, uh, the voltage to two, 220 and eventually uh, connect it to the main grid from uh, the utility. And you, you can see the cost at the beginning is very low, starting from $150 per user um, as a total cost of the installation. 
Um, so the, uh, the advantage is to accelerate energy access in off-grid areas by reducing the cost. Uh, and uh, it's uh, providing a very good uh, quality of service. It's also participating in the progressive building of the 21st century uh, power infrastructures of uh, non-grid, uh, uh, off-grid areas. Uh, it uh, also alleviates the financing constraint by breaking down large power grid up front uh, investment costs uh, with long-term paybacks. Okay. Uh, and then you have only small capital uh, expenditures with short-term paybacks for each um, for each customer. And then uh, what is uh, the, I would say the, the beauty of this project is to uh, to to use the help of um, local entrepreneurs who are usually or originating from different zones where they they can promote uh, this uh, this project. And just to finish. Um, so uh, the the uh, the approach, the organizational approach, is uh, first is to give uh, uh, the uh, entrepreneurs access to the technologies, uh, the the panels, uh, batteries, uh, the uh, the controller, which uh, are can be uh, purchased in number and then benefiting of the uh, vo volumes, which can reduce the price. Then the, the markets, um, as I was mentioning, the, uh, the, these uh, people are uh, from different villages and can promote uh, by, uh, to the mayors and uh, other local authorities uh, uh, the, um, the, the, the network, uh, the, the, the microgrids and uh, the nanogrids, sorry. And then also there are skills to develop. That's why there are sessions, training sessions of two to three months, just to make sure that they, they can really make this promotion and, and control the quality uh, of the, um, the nanogrid uh, on, on the long term. And they are supposed to uh, go every week and check uh, the quality and uh, if there is any failure or whatever, and, and keep the contact with the customer. And moreover, they can provide additional services such, such as TV and, uh, and uh, other um, services in, a, in a places where nobody goes uh, uh, usually. So method and tools, uh, that's also provided by the company, uh, Nanoe. And then the financing, because the, the, uh, as I mentioned, the, um, uh, uh, the, devel uh, the entrepreneurs, they, they can have access to, uh, to money to capital money to invest themselves in the new uh, nanogrids. And this is uh, Nanoe, the, the little company, has made uh, the connection with uh, the, the banks in Madagascar and also with um, uh, microcredit uh, providers. And um, this has proved to be uh, successful. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a project which has started last year. They have already. 50, uh, uh, 50 uh, nanogrids in place, so which represent about uh, uh, 200 uh, people, which are houses which are connected, so about 1,000 people. Um, and uh, then they are going to move to 1,000 nanogrid at the end of next year. Uh, so it's uh, important to see this growth and the success of this uh, uh, of this initiative. And uh, so the objective is again is to to combine uh, the short-term merits of individual power solutions and the long-term benefits of wide power uh, wide power grid solutions. Uh, and it's it has proved to be uh, cheap, uh, innovative. Uh, uh, cost uh, yes, cost effective, and also uh, um, it can uh, be progressive. You know, it's very flexible. You can start with uh, small solutions and become a, a true network uh, after um, interconnection. Thank you.